Hello guys, a very very good morning. Welcome to Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all the competitive exams. So today I am going to discuss the distance vector routing in the routing protocols of network. Okay, in computer networks, in routing protocols, one of the dynamic uh, protocol that is uh, adapt to routing technique is the distance vector routing technique. So I just wanted to show you animated content how this distance vector routing will work out. So within a 15 minutes of lecture, so you can uh, just enjoy the session just by understanding with a visual effect of uh, uh, distance vector routing. So myself, uh, Murali Krishna, I'm having 20 years of uh, 20 plus years of teaching experience, and uh, I will be uh, taking uh, computer networks and other subjects. So just uh, you can just have a look at my profile. And I'm certified as international engineering educator through IZIP certification program. And also, I trained more than uh, 50,000 students across the country in different uh, core areas of computer science and engineering, like theory of computation, operating systems, computer organization, computer networks, digital logic, and IC. So this is about my brief profile. Uh, just have a look at. So before I begin the session, you can just uh, subscribe the uh, Gate YT channel of Baiju's exam prep for getting the notifications. We are providing a lot of, uh, of uh, content uh, in the free classes. Like we are providing a, a vision a 2024 fundamental series. So, and also NILIT courses and some general sessions also we are conducting. So, if you subscribe the channel, then definitely you will get an advantage of these free classes and you will get the notifications. Please also share with your friends. So, let us begin the session of uh, distance vector routing. So, basically, in distance vector routing, we will take the information from the neighbors say for example so this is a source computer and this is a destination computer so these two computers are attached uh, via the routers okay information is passed from one router to another router so where every router has to execute routing technique to forward the packets to the destination so how it is forwarded how to execute the uh, this routing technique just as an example i will tell you uh, by taking an example of uh, uh, one subnet subnet is nothing but some domain of routers okay so by taking that i will explain uh, how uh, the information will be shared uh, from the neighboring routers and how to update the routing table so the outcome of any of the routing technique is to have a shortest path from source to the destination so that it will take a less cost uh, to travel the packet all the way to the destination okay so that is the main motto of this now coming to uh, before uh, i explain the session uh, just you can uh, see a few slides related to uh, our offerings here. So we are having a scholarship test on 16th April, that is on coming Sunday. You can register right now. At 12 p.m. the exam will be conducted, afternoon 12 noon. And uh, scholarship test will be in the gate level and you will get uh, up to 90% of off uh, when you excel in this uh, scholarship test. It is a national level uh, scholarship test. Please try to make use of this facility. And uh, let us congratulate all our toppers of 2023 gate. So more than uh, 62 students uh, under the All India rank 50 and 13 under All India rank 10 and 107 students under 100 rank. And uh, all the students who have taken coaching at Baiju's exam prep have taken the uh, mock test. They have done extremely well and these are the uh, some of our uh, success stories. So All India rank 5 by computer science uh, student Dhruv. And All India rank 1 by Gautam and P and I. And Sarvarma has got two ranks, one in uh, instrumentation, other in electrical, fourth and fifth rank respectively. So, big congratulations to all these people and also uh, wish you all the best for 2024 aspirants. And the time has come and this is a uh, present is precious and now is the time you can just start preparing the uh, gate 2024 if you are really aiming at 2024 gate. I wish you all the best. Now, let's come to the subject. What do you mean by distance vector? Distance vector routing is an adaptive routing technique. What do you mean by adaptive routing technique? Adaptive means we can get the uh, updated information as and when uh, some changes are made for the subnet. So in the routing information, if any change is made, uh, that uh, every router will reflect those changes in its routing table. So that is a criteria. So in distance vector routing, the least cast route between any two nodes is a route with a minimum distance. And here, uh, each router maintains a table that is called a vector. So, which is the best known distance to each of the neighbors and also to the other nodes in the network. 
So these tables are uh, updated by exchanging information with the neighborings. Okay. So basically in distance vector, if I wanted to go to a, a router which is not my neighbor, then I will look at how my neighbors are going. For example, my neighbors are A and B. How A will go to C? If C is my not my neighbor and uh, B is uh, my neighbor and A is my neighbor. If I wanted to go to C, how A will go to C and how B will go to C, I will check. So what is the best one? I will take it. So for that, we need to exchange the information from the neighbors. Okay. So initially to begin with a distance vector, what happens by taking one example? Actually, this algorithm is also known as a Bellman Ford uh, routing technique. I will tell you one example. So in this example, I have taken A, B, C, D, E, five routers. And uh, between A and B, uh, there is a cost seven. Cost is an estimated delay, which is an output of so many uh, factors. So maybe physical distance, uh, geographical distance between the two nodes, or average traffic in that, and also uh, the mean uh, time uh, queue delay, all those uh, factors are considered, and we will estimate one cost. That is also called as sometimes delay. Okay. And by using some testing packets uh, for neighboring things, we can estimate the delay. So between B and C, there is a uh, cost 1, C and D cost 2, E and D cost 2, B E cost 8, A B cost 7, and A E cost 1. So these are the things. So initially, uh, when the neighbor is not known, okay, we will send a testing packet and then, for example, if you see this, this is a vector at node A, okay. So at node A, A to A, the distance is 0. A to B, just we came to know that B is a neighbor and uh, using the testing packet, we came to know that there is a distance of 7 or cost of 7. And uh, E is also neighbor, so there is a cost of 1. And infinity cost for C and D because C and D are not the neighbors of A. If you wanted to fill the entries of C and D, how the neighbors, how B will go to C, how E will go to C, it has to inspect. That's why it has to get all the neighboring nodes vectors. Vector is nothing but here a table of uh, routing. I hope uh, everybody is understanding. Now, for example, this is a B's routing table with a B2A entry, B2A entry, B2C, B2E also because that is a direct neighbor. Uh, D is not a neighbor, that's why that entry is infinity. It is initially beginning with an entry as infinity if the node is not a neighbor. Okay, like that every router like this. So C to A infinity because it is not a neighbor, C to E. And for C, only B and D entries are made, 1 and 2. Similarly, the routing table for D, the routing table for E. Now, coming to this point. This is a very important point. So to initially begin with how the distance vector routing will work out, it will keep in infinity if the router is not a uh, neighboring in this particular domain. This is a domain of routers, come some collection of routers. This domain coverage may be within the state or within the country, depends on the domain size. So domain of routers, A, B, C, D, E are the routers here. Okay. So now coming to uh, this one, exchanging how it will do. For, in, for instance, A wanted to update its routing table. So who are the neighbors of A, B, E, C, D? So it, it has to get the information from B and D. If E wanted to update the routing table, here I will show how E will update the routing table. So right now E to C is infinity, right? Okay. So E to B is a neighbor, it is 8. E to A, it is 1. E to C, it is not a neighbor. All are the neighbors for E except C. That's why uh, C is infinity, remaining all are there. Now, if you wanted to fill this, we have to get the information from the all neighbors. Okay. So let us suppose if I get information from A, so A to E, A to C, it is infinity, still no use. And here also, B to C, there is a 1. So 8 plus 1, it will become 9. And if you go via D, and D to C, what is the value? D to C, D to C is a 2. So 2 plus 2, 4. So these are short one actually. So that's why uh, exchanging also, I am showing here. Yes, so D's routing table is exchanging. What is the D's routing table? Infinity, infinity, 2, 0, 2. This is a, after D's routing table is exchanged, and of course, other routing tables also will be exchanged from A, from B, other neighbors. But it is choosing to go via D by combining all. Okay, that means E to D is a 2, and D to C is a 2, total it is 4. So it is incorporated in a red color here, what is newly entered. Earlier, what was it? Earlier, Earlier, E's original routing table was E to C infinity. And you may have a doubt. Why can't we go via B? If you go via B, it is 8 plus 1, 9. And if you go via A, so A to C is infinity, 1 plus infinity, infinity. So the best route is, minimum route is 2 plus 2. 4 is minimum, 
they are 9 and infinity that's why it is chosen to go via d to go to the c okay now like that we are going to update the table so the 4 is updated now 18420 is the updated routing table for e so like that we will take one one more example i'll tell you say for instance we have taken a domain of uh, around 12 routers a b c d e f g h and i j k l so it is a network okay let us suppose i am targeting on the router j who are the neighbors of router j a is a neighbor direct neighbor i is a neighbor k is a neighbor h is a neighbor and we have to get the information from all these neighbors let us assume that we got information from these neighbors so this is a table of a i h k a i h k are the neighboring nodes for the router j so a to a 0 a to b 12 a to c like this we are having the entries so this is a to a b so you can uh, just take like this and uh, if uh, j wanted to update the routing table other than the neighbors for the neighbors also most recent delay how much is there it has to verify so j to uh, a delay is 8 for example and j to i delay is 10 j to h delay is 12 j to k delay is 6 so these are the present delays that are being estimated by sending one testing packet j to a j to i j to k and j to h then we, we can make up a new routing table for the uh, router j estimated routing table so for example if j wanted to go to a how it goes already estimated now 8 delay so this is 8 j wanted to go to b b is not a neighbor of j so if you go via b via a what happens so it will be 8 plus uh, 12 20 if you go via i, 10 plus 36, 46. If you go via h, 31 plus 12, okay, it is 43. And via k, 28 plus 6, it is 34. So what is the short one? Via a. So it is chosen to go via a, that is 8 plus 12, that is 20. Okay. So that is the criteria. So that is a new routing table like that. If you wanted to go from j to i, j to i is a neighbor only. Just now we have sent a uh, testing packet, the delay is 10, so it is uh, taken as 10. Okay, so J to I and uh, J, Y or B like this. Okay, it's all depending upon uh, the router's information from the neighbors. Okay, so this is the updated routing table of J by taking the information from neighbors. Let us assume that the neighboring nodes of J are A, I, H, K. So those are already stabilized routing tables. Stabilized means it is a uh, routing table which has got the shortest path from uh, starting node to all the other nodes in the network. Okay, for instance, one more. Let us suppose if I wanted to go to uh, J to L. J to L. So J to L, this is 29 plus 8, 37. 33 plus 10, 43. 9 plus 12, it is 21. Okay, 9 plus 6, 15. 15 is a less now. That's why it is chosen to go via K. So J will go to L via K. That means uh, J to K and K to L. It is taking only cost 15. This is how we are going to update the routing tables by taking information. Vectors received from J's four neighbors are A, I, H, K. Hope uh, everybody understood this. Uh, that's all for uh, the distance vector routing. I hope you have enjoyed the session. And definitely you will get the questions from this distance vector routing because it is an adaptive routing technique that is being used in most of the networks. Thank you so much. Thank you one and all. And see you once again with uh, some other concepts. Keep in subscribe the channel and uh, please do like this session if you are really liking it. And also share with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye bye.